Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding number of times a driver was a passenger and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called rides with three different columns, ride ID, driver ID and passenger ID and the integer being the data types. Ride ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID of the driver and the ID of the passenger that rode in the ride ID. That is in a particular ride, what is the ID of the passenger? Note that driver ID is not equal to passenger ID. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the ID of each driver and the number of times they were a passenger. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So from this, if you see there are two drivers, right? So driver ID 7 and 11, right? Now we need to return how many times each driver was also a passenger, right? So if you see driver id 7 so there are two drivers 7 and 11 so 7 also rode twice right so 7 rode two times and 11 rode zero times so that is going to be the output right so 7 two times 11 zero times right so how we can do this right so the first thing that we can do is using this rights table we can group by passenger id and try to count the number of times like what is the basically what is the id of the passenger and how many times they drove right so let's go ahead and build that right so from this table called rights let's group by the passenger id right and then return the passenger id and the number of times they appear right so basically count star that is number of rows associated with it and let's alias it as number of times right so basically what this will give so it will return something like right so it would be passenger id and then number of times right so if you see for, uh, for passenger ID one, it will return what one is twice, right? So two times number of uh, rows is two for two passenger ID two. It is once for seven. It is two and for three. It is one, right? So now we have passenger ID and the number of times they wrote, right? So once we have that now what we can do is let's store this in a common table expression so with cte as right now what we can do is we can use this table and perform a left join with this common table expression okay so let's let me write this like it will be more clear then so from this right table alias is r let's left join this common table expression alias as c on r dot driver id is equal to c dot passenger id right now once we perform this join what it is going to basically happen right so let me just copy this to demonstrate so okay so the first thing it will say so r dot driver id so this is the uh, right stable so r dot driver id is equal to c dot passenger id so for seven right so for seven it will try to search oh okay so seven is in this uh, common table expression it will find two so here the number of times will come right so number of times column and here it will be two then two but if when it uh, goes to cursor goes to row three right so 11 right so 11 for all these four rows so 11 is not here right so what it will do here it will just return null 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 and null right now after we perform this what we are doing is let's return the since we need driver id and the count right so count is basically the number of times so you return the 
driver id driver id is in which table rights table right so r dot driver id and then what do we need to do so when it is not null you just return the number but when it is null you have to return zero right so again since there are two cases we simply go ahead and use case when statements so case when num number of times right so number of times came from which uh, table basically the common table expressions right so when c dot num of times is not null you simply what you do is you simply return the value from that column right so then you return c dot num of times right else what you do you just else that is means it is null so you just return zero end the case statement and alias it as cnt because that is the output right now if you see what will happen like our query is not finished yet if you see it will so okay so for row one seven not null right so it, it will return the same so seven two seven two then eleven zero eleven zero eleven zero eleven zero right but we don't need that there is a repetition right we only need seven two and eleven zero right there is no need for re repetition so what do we need to do is to make sure we just write the distinct keyword here so out of 72 and 72 it will just keep one and then out of 1104 times it will just keep it once right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and remove all this i hope this was clear let me go ahead and remove this and let's run it to see what happens okay okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again it was kind of a tricky question but if you think about it like you know break down the chunks and just think about it step by step it is not that of a difficult question the first thing that you need to identify since we need to find out how many times each of the driver was a passenger as well so firstly let's find out who all the passengers were and how many times they were passengers we calculated that and you know stored it in a common table expression and then we find out okay so whether the drivers were also a passenger if they were then obviously there will be a match between driver id and passenger id and you just return the number of times they were passengers if there is no match then obviously they were not a passenger and it because uh, by the virtue of join we know it is going to return null so whenever it is null you just return zero and alias it at whatever the output column was so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way of doing this uh, post your solution in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video